hello everybody. So today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to use index match to compare two bombs or bill of materials. Uh, I do this a lot uh, for my job. I'm a manufacturing engineer so we get new revisions of bombs all the time from our customers and it's pretty useful to be able to compare the old bomb with the new bomb and see what's changed. So what I have here is just some templates like an example bomb that I downloaded offline. Um, but this is pretty much standard what you're going to be looking at when you look at a build material depending on what the product is. And in, I have them set up where my two tabs, um, actually I'll just make this a little easier. I'll rename this one bomb2 and then this one we'll name bomb1. Alright, so we're going to compare these two and see what's changed between the two. I mean if you look at them just quickly they look pretty much the same so um, what I do here is you just hit uh, starting depending on you can compare either bomb 1 to bomb 2 or vice versa and um, where you start this formula will kinda change a little bit and we'll get into that once uh, once we start it here so what you're gonna do is just hit the equal sign that'll start the formula and then you're gonna go and just look for index so this is what you want and now once you get that index oops actually let's back up a second because I forgot a very important thing so I'm going to I want to be able I wanted to actually return a value for me and I could either use the part number or I can just insert a column. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just say, I'll add my own column and put um, like on bomb one, because I'm in bomb one. So, and then what I'll do right here, I'll just type yes, and then drag, just drag that all the way down. So now you'll have your column to return a value from. So you can just pull from this. If you're just comparing straight for now, you're just comparing um, the parts on the bomb to make sure that all the parts on this bomb are on the other bomb. So you'll put that in and then we'll start our formula over on this side. We'll hit um, equals, we'll put index, and then we will go from there over to bomb one and we're going to click on this column right here that we just created and you'll see your formula still shows up over here and this is very important once you've clicked on this before you click to another um, tab or anything you want to make sure that you just hit uh, comma so that's going to that's going to basically stop the formula there and allow you to move around without selecting a bunch of things and messing your formula up so you have that so that's going to be your row that you're going to return a value from. Okay, and then right after that, you're going to type match. And then what you want it to do, and this is very important as well, you also want to make sure that each page that you have, or each, you're going to pick two columns. This is your first column, and then the second column is going to be part number. You want to make sure that the, both the columns that you select are on the same tab. But for this one, what we want it to do is we want it to match our part number here. And then you're going to hit comma again to stop your formula. And then you'll go back to um, bomb one and you'll click this whole column. And that's going to take that first value that we picked and match it against everything in this column which is kind of messed up here cuz oh, oops alright <laughs> let's back up a little bit I need to alright I gotta start over cuz the way that this the top part of this is formulated is all jacked up Alright, we'll delete that out. Delete that. Alright. Now I'm going to delete this too because that's going to get in the way. It won't allow me to actually take just the one column that I want. Okay, so this is fine. Alright, back to our formula. 
So right up here, I'll even um, on both. Yeah, let's just do that. On both bombs. All right. So we'll start off from it here with the index match. So, whoops. All right. So we have our index. And now we're going to go to bomb one again. We'll select that column we just made, hit comma. That's going to return the that this all these values of yes, that's what it's going to return if these two part numbers match. So then we do the match and we're going to go back to bomb 2 we'll select the very first part number and then hit comma again and go back to bomb 1 and select the whole row so basically what that formula is telling it right now is to take that first part number that we we selected the single part number and then search this row of numbers to find that number and it will if it finds that number then it's going to return this value over in our bomb on bomb one column that we just made. So uh, after you hit comma on this last part, it's going to ask for uh, some numbers. You're always going to just put zero, which is going to be an exact match, and then you can put three brackets to finish it all off, or maybe it's two, two brackets. <laughs> hit enter. So as you can see, this part number. The formula was done right, and this part number it searched this column and it found it. It's the first one on the on the um, in the list. And then what you can do right here is just double click right here to drag that formula down throughout all these rows, and it'll match all these part numbers against this these part numbers, and it'll return the value of yes if that part number exists on this bomb. If it doesn't, I'll just show you what happens when it doesn't. So now you can look through here. And as it shows you, everything from this bomb is on this bomb. So that the only thing that uh, should have changed here which is kind of odd. Oh, so that is that one there? All right. So what I did is made a duplicate. So okay. So we'll just do this. Let's just change one of these part numbers to like 100. And as soon as you change it, if it's a different part number, it'll come up as NA. Um, one thing to keep in mind is if there are duplicate part numbers, it's only going to return the value from the very first one. So as soon as it finds the match. It returns your value and it stops searching for that number. So if there's multiple um, part numbers in the same bomb, it's better just to filter them out. And then this can be done with anything. You can uh, insert a row right here. And let's wrap the text. So let's say that the part names you want. So you want to make sure. Actually, let's do the revisions. Revisions are better. So rev from bomb one. So let's say that we want it to return all the revisions for any of these part numbers that are on bomb one. And let's, before we do that, let's change some of these rev A's to like, like rev D. All right. So now what we're going to do is we'll do our equals index and then we will go into here. What we want it to return is the actual revisions. So we're just going to click on the revisions and then we'll do match. And what we want it to search for is our parts. Now remember that I just picked this whole column and I want the, both the columns I select to be on the same page. So we're going to go back to bomb two for this first part and we're going to click on this very first part number. And then we hit um, comma again to stop the formula before we switch to page one and then we're going to select this whole column so now on page on bomb one we have the revision column highlighted we have the part number column highlighted and again for this last section you just hit zero all right 
So that returned that basically this whole formula up here took this part number and it compared it to this column. It found it in this column and then it returned the revision of that uh, part number from the first bomb. And then we can do the same thing and drag this down. And as you can see right here, this part number doesn't exist on that bomb, so it shows up as NA. And then these part, and these uh, revisions right here are different. So then you can see the different revisions. Also, you can, what I do a lot of times are, um, you can use if then statements. So you can do equal if, um, basically do something like this rev um, I think you can do equals this rev comma and then I think you just do um, exclamation points you can say um, yeah you can just do match um, and then if it doesn't match then you can say you know not nah, not a match bam I think I did something wrong uh, maybe I have to do that on both of these all right cool yeah so I'll put exclamation uh, points around each each um, value that you want it to return but basically I do that so I'll do the revision the index match thing just to pull all the numbers and you could say you know why not just copy this one copy this whole row and paste it next to this one well if you do that then you're gonna have um, an offset because like this part doesn't exist so if it doesn't exist it's not going to give you um, that that's gonna basically bump everything down in your bomb one one notch and then they won't line up correctly so you definitely want to do the index match to pull the revisions from that bomb first all right so I got some packages <laughs> doorbell came all right so sorry about the distraction anyway like as I was saying that's why you want to pull the revisions from uh, index match and then you have everything lined up nicely and then you can do this if then statement and just double click this down and then anything that does not match will show up and of course to make this even simpler what you can do on the very top here you can just click on your filters and click filter and then you will have a filter and you can go to your match and just click on you know get rid of anything that does match because you don't care about that go to what doesn't match and then bam you have all the parts on your bomb or on the first bomb that the revisions don't match and then also you can do um, with that first part that I did with the actual pulling the revisions which it works again with the um, it works again with even just pulling part numbers um, I did have one where is that item that didn't show up? Oh, that's weird. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was really strange. All right, so yeah, if uh, for this one you can just filter out anything, f filter all the NAs out, and that'll show you all the parts that you know didn't show up on your bomb, and that you may need to add to the bomb. The one uh, one thing I will mention while I'm doing this as well is you probably want to take the bomb with the largest amount of parts so whichever bomb you're working with um, just drag down real quick find out how many parts are on it so there's 60 on this bomb and then there are let's see how many on this one um, there's 60 on each one okay so this one matches up but if you delete out one of these rows and all the bar all the parts match you always want to match the the bomb that has the largest amount of items on it to the bomb with the least amount of items that way it is searching for every single item if you if you um, compare the smaller bomb to a larger bomb you may find all the items on that smaller bomb but then you won't realize that there are additional items missing so it's always better to um, 
take the largest bomb and compare it to the smallest bomb. But yeah, that's pretty much pretty much all I got. Um, figured I'd throw this out there on YouTube. And hopefully, someone finds it useful. Like I said, I use this a lot um, at my job just to kind of match everything. Um, anytime we do any type of uh, engineering change orders in Omnify and we get different uh, bill of materials from our customers, we'll compare them. We'll go through all the um, all the different changes to basically make the new bomb in our system and uh, these are great tools that uh, help me so hopefully someone else finds them helpful as well